fit. No. Ah. Oh, it is. Oh, oh, oh. Golly. What is it? Oh, <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Thought that was a red snapper oh, for a minute. You, man. What's going on, y'all? Captain Collier, welcome back to the channel. Out here on a slick, calm day. I've got my two buddies here with me, Nathan with What's Southern up, Salt. Man? I got my buddy oh, or co-worker, Ed, here with me on the boat. Looks like we got a double up. What we got, boys? We got a, a bee liner, which is what we are targeting today, along with trigger fish. You gonna get that small fish up oh, here? Oh! oh golly! The infamous pulled hook or break off. What happened? That, that wasn't a bee liner. We are getting on a pretty good bite right now. I'm gonna kind of take y'all along and show y'all the setups that we're using, what we're targeting, the depth, and all that good stuff. But Ed is a pretty good cook good chef as well he's from puerto rico so he's going to be cooking us up well i guess you could say cooking us up but making us a nice little dish here in the next hour or so so hopefully Sir. we can use some of these beautiful vermilion snapper here for our dish so hope y'all enjoy it give me a thumbs up if you do let's get to fishing mm -hmm. <laughs> get him oh, up hey, hey, come on. get him up <laughs> Trigger fish. Think that's a trigger? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a keeper. It's a keeper. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a keeper for sure. Oh wow. Good one. Sir. What is that? Ceviche right there? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he was, Let's make sure you Oh, oh, don't bite my foot. Don't bite my toe. <laughs> so they got to be 15 inches. He is 17, two to four. In the box he goes. Bring him in. That's going to be a trick. Oh my goodness. Good. You need a. Oh, you don't act like that, y'all, man. Hold that oh, up gee. for Hold that up for a picture, son. Right in the butthole, man. Yeah, you got to get a picture of that. Wow, that's crazy. Y'all don't act like that's never happened y'all. <laughs> it's a big one. Y'all know. It's a good one. Ed's over here like measuring his. foul hook a fish, pulling them up sideways in 125 foot of water, it's going to feel big. I'm sorry. I thought it was a trigger fish. Let's go down with this camera here. Hopefully my knots are good. <laughs> Instant, as soon as it hits. So I had to drop the Go Fish Cam down right here. I figured I'd do a little bit of commentary over a few of these clips on this first spot of the day. I'm not quite sure of the structure here. It kind of looked like some rubble, maybe some rocks down there. Very small spot. And I could tell by the sonar what it was showing that it was a ton of small fish. And as you can see right here, it is a lot. I mean, it is just a feeding frenzy down there. These guys are starving. There's a few trigger fish mixed in there, but this is why we could not keep a bait on our hooks because they are just going crazy down there. And they were a little on the smaller side. They were averaging about 10 to 12 inches, which 10 inches is a legal bee liner, but uh, a lot smaller than what I wanted to catch. And so continue dropping back down. You can see right here, we're going down. We're sitting in 110 foot of water. And these guys right here, as you'll see, come up. And these are called unicorn file fish. They are related to trigger fish. I've only caught one in my life. And as you can see right here, they are just picking this squid off the hook and just not even touching the hook. And we could not even feel these bites at all. And this guy is still just sitting there, just literally biting the hook. And we just couldn't hook him. And we, we didn't know what the deal was. We knew something kept still in our bait. And without dropping this go fish cam, I probably would have never even guessed that there was file fish on this spot. I would have probably just suspected it was either smaller trigger fish or bee liner that was still in our baits. But now that I know from watching this footage, I will probably be coming back out here with some smaller, maybe size one or size two hooks with some really small pieces of bait. And I do believe we could probably 
snag a few of these file fish up, which would make for a great fight and even better eating. But we did decide to move spots despite the fact we were catching fish. They were a little on the smaller side and we also kept getting our bait stole and it was a little aggravating. So we moved spots about two miles to another artificial structure and that's where we're gonna pick up right here. Yo! Oh! Hey, there's a you, shark down there. You better hurry. Pump, get him up, man. He's swimming out. That's not a beeliner. What is that? Be. Oh, whoa, it's a, no, it's a sucker fish. No, it's, it's a baby cobia. Is that a cobia? Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a cobia. baby cobia. Look at that. Woo! You get out your way, Sean. Dude, you may have had a cobia then. He may have ate your uh, beeliner or something. You think that's what it might be? Yeah. This is a bad idea. Cobia needs to be big, big, right? Oh yeah, he's not, not. Baby. Ouch! He, right? Yeah, he's not legal. So Ed just pulled up a nice, nice little juvenile cobia here. Obviously, he's not going to be legal, but he just noticed the spines right there on oh, Lord, before his dear. dorsal fin, and that is what will hurt you if he is just flopping Beautiful around the fish, deck. Though. Gorgeous fish. Gorgeous. Bye, bye, baby. Want to give him a kiss? <laughs> bye bye. Where's your mom at? Hasta luego. <laughs> well, I can't let Ed, Ed have all the fun, so I'm dropping down. Let's see if I can get me a little vermilion snapper action. Just got about halfway down. We're in a, oh, shoot. We got one. We're in 109 foot of water. I've got the sonar here zoomed in. You can see most of all that is vermilion snapper with some trigger fish mixed in. We're gonna go ahead and get this fish in before this shark comes back. Cause Nathan got sharked a while ago. You on fire. Come on. This is a smaller one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I thought it was. <laughs> uh, that's a decent one. This is a little baby. Sure. Bad, Let me help uh, Ed out here. He's he's putting meat in the box. Another stud. Good job. Yeah. It's a lot of meat. Yes. Ready for the next one? Yeah. I think I'm gonna get a bigger one than you this time. Let's go. Where are you at? Get bit. Oh, there he is. I got one. Maybe if he stays on. Oh, he just pulled it. You might got me this time. That sucker just jumped out of the bucket. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Double up. Stay on. Oh, this is a big, big, big fish. Oh, you got the structure. No, structure. That ain't no structure. Look at this thing. You're done. You're done. You just got, you got upgraded, son. What is that? Shark. You serious? Yeah. I don't know yet. Just keep going. I'm glad he went for yours. Here's mine. This is what you had before it got upgraded. Might not be a shark. That's a shark. We'll get him up. <laughs> nah, that's definitely a shark. We about to see. Hey, keep him occupied real quick. Let me go ahead and catch another one of these good fish. Did it eat your fish? Did you have a Oh yeah. Yeah, it ate it ate his fish. No, uh you good. Hurry up, get him, get him. This is a big one, man. Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Come on. Uh uh, big B liner. Are you serious? Or a trigger. How you know? Ain't no red snapper right here. Nathan's the only one that catches those. Oh my gosh. Big BB. Big one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah he's a big one. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. So, this is all we're using here. It's what we call a chicken rig, a little six ounce pyramid sinker, some circle hooks, two hooks to be exact, 40 pound leader. And you can use pretty much any kind of setup you want, whether it be a light, lighter setup or a heavier duty setup, just in case we get sharked or something, just like Ed did. 
but we're just dropping down. We're marking everywhere from 60 to, to the bottom. So you can just count your way down, flip your bell, and it's just instant bites, y'all. We're just getting bites as soon as it hits the bottom. There we go. We're on. Go, 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 go. Tricky, tricky is you got to get them up quick because that shark's around and he ain't full. So you just got to reel. Keep that head turned up and pray that shark don't get him. There he is. Nice. Good BB. Oh, that's a nice one. Yep. And that is the end result. We're going to be feasting on some of these tasty fish as long as he don't jump out of my hands. But beautiful average size vermilion snapper right there. You can tell the difference between their eyes and the way that they're shaped between a red snapper and sometimes the smaller ones will have yellow stripes kind of going down their body. We're going to stick them in this bucket here, throw them in the ice box after we get a few in there. How many fish was that? 17. 17 fish so we're halfway through a limit we can have 10 per person and when nothing is in season out here other than trigger fish and vermilion snapper this is a great great species to come out here and target on captain collier's boat we are about 40 miles offshore right now Let's kind of show y'all where we're sitting at we got Hold up, don't be showing my private spots now. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> so we're in a hundred foot of water right now. Oh, here. baby. And as you see down here, we got our structure. And we Get got up. fish hanging out. Come on. Get doing up. Doing Get up. No. No. Get up. Get up. That's a big one. There he is. What you got in there? Yeah, I love seeing these fat jokers come up. Don't you jump out of my hands. Jump in that bucket. Oh, oh, watch your foot, watch your foot, watch your foot. Watch your foot. So pro tip, y'all, if you're on a spot with some good fish and you want to keep fishing, but the sharks has ruined the spot, just stick the rod in the rod holder. Just let it do its thing. Uh, if we start getting low on line, I'll pop the hook. But we're keeping them occupied right now. And it's also holding us on the spot. So it's helping the troll motor out. You, you know, wear them out enough for them to leave. It's a win-win. And I'm going to hand this back to you because you're the only one putting some good fish in the box. Oh, no. So we'll let you continue with that. I'll keep this shark occupied over here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, pro tip, I still got them hooked up, getting them away from the boat. <laughs> yeah, baby, get them up. I'm taking one for the team here. Yeah, double. Double. Woo. Double good ones. Yep. In the pail. Nah, throw them in the box. No, this one? Yeah. yeah. Put them back? Yeah. All right, I'm going to try and break the hook here. He's got enough of my line out. I would like to get it back. Come on, come on. I'm the hype man. Come on. Get him up. Get him up. Big one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Some hammers, baby, in 110 Woo. foot of water. Yeah, we've been out here a few hours this morning. First couple spots were slow. Pulled up to this spot right here and it's just every drop. We are just pulling up quality fish. And this is what it's about, man. Just coming out here, having a good time with some buddies on the boat, putting some meat in the box. I better stop playing around and get this fish up. Come on. There we go. Ah. Nice one. See, that's about average size. The ones we've been catching are jumbos. All right, I show but this one will work too. We don't discriminate. All right, awesome. we only need one more for a three man limit. Can I do it here? Because I'm getting hungry. Whew. All right, y'all, right there. That's four so. He's chewing on it. There he is. Showing y'all the reef and 
<laughs> oh, oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No way. This is a big one. That's another one. Or a trigger. Oh, that's another one. Probably came up and grabbed the bait. Only had one bait on. You only had one bait? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a three good fish. Come on, get up. On the last fish for a living? You believe that? It's a bit. <laughs> Look at that stuff. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. What a way to end the limit. Yes, sir. All right, guys. That is our last beeliner to make our 30 fish limit, 10 per person. I think Ed here is fixing to get the food started for lunch. Yes, We're going to see y'all in a minute. So we just finished our limit of Vermilion Snapper. As you can see right here, I put the last few that we caught in a little saltwater brine, some salt water with some ice, and I also cut their gills just to bleed them out. So Ed right here behind the camera is gonna make some, some ceviche for us. Apparently he's known to make some good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and fillet a couple of these out, and then we're gonna swap over to him and let him cut the fillets up into some little small chunks and the vegetables as well. But we are gonna be using our sword fillet knife this fish was literally swimming 10 minutes ago. So it is as fresh as it comes. Hopefully I don't mess this up too bad. It's not the best cleaning uh, position here. But y'all check that out right there. Beautiful vermilion snapper filet. We're gonna go ahead and take the skin off here. Get our knife started. I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it back and forth. Peel that meat off the skin, just like so. And that filet right there is ready to go. We're gonna slap them on this cutting board, get a couple more filets on there, and then Ed's gonna dice them up for us. What you doing there, Ed Wardo? I'm just cutting these fish. It's a little small, small chunks. Small chunks, so they cook well on the line you <coughs> Looking good. We're starving. I didn't bring any food today. So if we didn't catch any fish, we were gonna starve. That's right. Literally out here. I mean, we'd have got plenty of water on the boat, but no food. Right, but you know, I mean, making a run like this, it's like an hour and a half coming out here. Like it's an all day deal. Yeah. Inshore, four or five hours, that's a yeah. trip. You're, You're good. By Stop at the subway on the way. Go offshore, better bring some food. Or yeah, catch water. some food. That's right, yeah. You either bring food <laughs> or you bring Ed. We decided to bring Ed this time. This is his first trip on the blackjack. Yes, sir. So this is like the new Jamaican Mike. I don't know if y'all watch Stan's film, but he has Jamaican Mike to cook all his food up for him. This might be the new Jamaican Mike for my channel. So if y'all want to see him more, y'all drop a comment down below. We'll definitely get him back out on the boat more, but only if this ceviche turns out like it's supposed to. Uh, we have all the small pieces of fish in here with the lime. We're gonna let it sit in that lime juice for like 45 minutes, let it cook. Uh, How you know when it's cooked? It just turns a look kind of white. Turns white. Color, yeah. Yep. And uh, then we're gonna add on the vegetables and we have a nice fresh ceviche. Ceviche, baby! So we've had our fish soaking for about 30 minutes or so. We're gonna let them keep soaking for about 15 minutes before we get ready to add our vegetables. But Ed here is fixing to start chopping up what we have. What we got? We got some fresh cilantro, jalapeno, tomatoes, red onion. Of course, we're gonna add a little bit of the orange juice to give it a different flavor. We got a fresh mango to give it a tropical flavor to it. That's what and I'm talking about. And we're gonna about. top it up with some fresh avocado. <laughs> some avocado. Yes, sir. And we got some seasons over here. We got some salt, pepper, you said some garlic onion powder, powder, garlic powder. And yes. And last but not least, we got the chips to make it complete. Y'all check it out. Gotta have it. Cannot ask for a better boat snack. No, you can't. Look Ed, at that. What have you done? What have you done here, man? man I don't know. This, this is just our. We got all style. kinds of stuff in here. Yes, sir. And like I said earlier, you cannot ask for a better boat snack than this fish was literally swimming in the water. 25 minutes, 30 minutes ago. Well, probably 45 minutes. That's how long it's been soaking. But let's go ahead and dive in right here. I, I gotta see if it's better than my ceviche, to be honest. <laughs> let's try it. Come on. We're not gonna be able to get 
everything in one scoop, but we're gonna try. Mm. That's a oh, hit, man. dude. Yes, sir. I got a big old chunk of mm -hmm. mango in there. The cilantro gives it some good taste as well. Fish is fully cooked within an hour. So if anyone tells you any different, they're wrong because that fish is definitely cooked. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's, it's been soaking and got all the flavor. I, I'm waiting on a jalapeno pepper just to kind of surprise me. Make small pieces. Mm. Come on, Nathan, get in here. What about the avocado? <laughs> Come on. Mm. I don't even taste the avocado, to be honest. Mm. Get a little piece in there. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're just out here, you know, 50 miles, 25 foot boat, 105 degrees out here, absolutely no wind. Just enjoying a nice little meal. <laughs> what do you think? Ceviche. I love it. Can't mm. beat it. Cannot ask for much more. <laughs> That's a hit, baby. That's a hit. If y'all haven't tried ceviche, y'all should definitely try it. I'll put a link right up here, somewhere on one of these sides of the screen of my recipe that I did years ago. Super awesome. I don't think I added mango. That's probably a key ingredient. I, I like it, man. That's sweet, dude. I, yeah. That, that, that I do love needed. that mango. The mango is needed. Yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, I mean, it was tons of action. Bite every single drop. I also got some underwater footage as well. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but we will see at the end of this video. Hopefully it turned out well. I did get my camera back, but we're going to go ahead and end it. Go ahead and finish our meal right here. We might continue fishing a little bit, head back to the house, but we'll see y'all back out on the next one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing if you enjoy all types of saltwater fishing. Y'all give us an extra thumbs up for Ed for putting in all this work for us. Never forget, country <laughs> life is better. <laughs> That's right. Yes, sir. What did you say earlier, red, redneckin'? The redneck reekin' friend red, right here. <laughs> redneck reekin'. We'll catch y'all on the next one. <laughs>